<laughs> Myth busted. <laughs> hey, I'm Michael Batko, Startmate CEO, and today we're gonna do some myth busting about Startmate. Startmate um, has now invested in over 230 companies. They are worth over two and a half billion dollars. Um, many of those companies are, have relocated to the US, and you actually might not know them. But um, a couple of the really noteworthy ones are, for, for example, Morse Micro, which has been founded by the inventors of Wi-Fi, and they have just raised over 140 million dollars in the last race. We've got a company called Propeller Aero that just raised 22 million dollars earlier this year. We've got um, companies such as Sikona Battery that just off the back of the accelerator raised $22 million. We've now got over 10 to 15 companies which are worth between $100 to $300 million. They are really ripe to become the next unicorns of Australia and New Zealand. There's so many more stories I can tell you. We've got hundreds and dozens of companies which raise money off the back of Startmate. On average, 50% of our companies raise after the accelerator. Those raises can range between $500,000 all the way to $22 million. And our average race after the accelerator is roughly $2 million. So do you reckon we can say, myth busted? <laughs> <laughs> myth busted. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand where it comes from. Um, it did it because Nikki Shivak founded Startmate and then two years later he founded Blackbird. So lots of people associated with the same organization. But ever since I became CEO about four years ago, we've have, we have been completely operationally and financially independent, whilst Nikki is still the, our board chairman. We have always raised our own funds, we run our own programs, we um, are completely independent in terms of decision making, and whilst maintaining a very good relationship with Blackbird. Do you reckon busted? <laughs> Maybe busted. busted. <laughs> <laughs> Startmate doesn't invest in tech. Yeah, I hate that one. Um, and initially, the Startmate um, philosophy was actually software as a service and that the big winners were going to come through that. That has massively changed roughly from 2016 onwards. So for the last seven years, we have backed anything from aerospace startups to hardware startups to robotics and some of the companies such as Moss Micro building Wi-Fi chips. We've got Ulu making completely new plastics um, and plastic material. We've got um, Great Wrap which makes compostable Great Wrap. We've got Halbert in our alumni which um, literally creates a robot which autonomously cleans the bottom of a ship. Um, we have companies such as Asterix Astronautics which literally has put up a solar panel on top of a satellite to, um, to make them inflatable and capture the power of the sun. And that is not just a concept, that is literally on a satellite right now. So now Startmate absolutely invests in deep tech. We um, invest in the most ambitious people with the craziest ideas um, where we believe in the possible and not the probable. Move right. busted. <laughs> So whilst we work really close with Blackbird and Startmate has a close relationship, we describe ourselves as the Switzerland of the startup industry. We have now so many founders come through our community every single year that we actually want to find the right VC for the right company. So we now have and work together from anywhere from Airtree to Squarepeg, Main Sequence, Blackbird, um, Folklore. All of those VC funds essentially either invest as a fund or the partners or principals personally invest into our funds because they want to see the startups coming through. And what we care about is actually the success of our start middle alumni. So rather than just one fund actually getting the best and um, getting to invest, it's actually all of the different funds finding the right fit for them. Because every single fund has a different mandate and what we are great at is essentially helping um, to bring the two together. Myth busted. <laughs> <laughs>